So would you like to create an actual free blog into Google Sites? I'm going to show you how to do this in a very easy, easy way. The very first thing you want to do is to get started with the access of sites into Google Editor. Let's go into sites.google.com and here you can see all the reasons these sites that you have just generated. And here into the upper side, there's the starting of the template gallery and the start a new design in a blank site. If you wanted to get started with an actual blog, let's choose template gallery. So you can see that we have family update, there's a portfolio, there's a help center, there's a team, there's a resident salon. So choose the template you kind of like the best so you can just get started with an actual blog. Usually, since you wanted to get started with an actual blog, usually what we do is to get started with the option that says class because they have the actual free elements that we can use for this template. And I believe it's really easy to customize it as this is an actual free blog. So as you can see here, we have all the elements where you can just get started with. If you wanted to get started with an actual blank site, that's totally up to you. Now what I wanted to do is to add my blog post. To add blog post, click into the insert directly here and you can tab directly into choose a text box. Write your blog post content directly into the text box. If you don't know how to get started with an actual blog, what you can do is to open a new tab and look how for the actual self that you want to talk about. Let's say for example, healthy, and it's going to be showing you lots of blogs that are out there. So you can take inspiration of how they're actually being constructed. For example, you have the title. Here is the background image. And here, as you can see, they go straight away with the 10, the 10 things they have to offer to them. And the recommendation of more reading, related clinics, and that you know. So you can take that as an advantage to, of course, creating your actual blog. So here, what I want to do, let's go for AI versus creators, right? So if I click into something that I wanted to change, for example, the header, I go for image, I go for upload, and I, of course, upload my own images. You can adjust it for readability if you want to. If you don't, you can change, of course, the header type. Check out how it actually looks when it comes to creating an actual blog. So you want to make this much more bigger, much more smaller. If you wanted to change, for example, the font, the text colors, and all of that using an actual template, what you can do is to go directly into themes. And here into themes, you can just select the one that was generated for you, and you can even create a new one if you want to. So for example, here go for Tech Express. You can add your own custom logo, and even you can add an actual uh, banner image if you wanted to. So in my case, I'm gonna go for Upload. I go for this one, and I go for Next. Now here you can choose the preset colors, for example, this three, and choose a font that you want to apply directly into your blogger section. So I choose this two and I create my theme. So everything that I do here is gonna be edited with the actual blog new theme that I chose. So now it's gonna be taking a lot much more of research there. So I'm gonna to try to change the title AI versus creators. And lastly here, what you want to do is to organize posts with labels. For better organization, you can use labels to categorize your blog posts. You can click into insert, select the table of contents and add labels to your post and create a navigation menu for ease access to specified topics. For example, here, if I have uh, something speaking about the AI in the 2024 and I add something else, I go for insert. And here I scroll a little bit down and have the table of contents. So here with the table of contents, if I choose this option and I change this for a heading, automatically it's going to appear in and here into the upper side. If I scroll a little bit down, let's say that I choose this about me and I change this for another header, it's going to be appearing to all of them directly inside these sections of the table of content. Even you can just look out for collapsible groups. So they can be helping you to organize a little bit much more your elements. And there we go. It actually looks really simple but actually it works. You can add much more images if you wanted to. I choose one of these blocks, for example, let's say this one. And here you can just drag and drop elements you wanted to click into edit or click into edit text of description or even add an actual image. And just take time to be creative in here. Change the colors, change the fonts, change the images. Even you can select, um, let's say this new section, let's say like this. And instead of going for only a background color, you can choose an actual image if you wanted to. And once again, for go for select and choose the best that suits for your actual website and check out how it actually looks. So be creative there here into Google Sites. I know it's for free. I know there's a limited stuff to add. And since this is just a blog, I believe that there's a lot of elements that you can just play with and get started by creating websites and blogs and getting started by adding really interesting stuff that people are actually more willing to check out. 
And lastly, you're going to go here into Publish and create an actual web address that is totally for free for you. For example, let's say Text Blocks. And since this is totally for free, let's go for Publish and your website, your new blogging section is now been ready. So go for it, view Publish site and you can check out how it's going to be looking your new uh, blogging section. And as you can see, we didn't do actually anything bad. Actually, it looks really great. So take your time to be creative in the, take your time to add as much information as you can, add the lead, be creative there. And let us know into the comments below if you kind of like what you're seeing here inside Google Sites. So we have not reached the debate end of the video, but if you want to see more creative videos, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more amazing tools of Google Sites and more website web creators. So thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Hopefully, with all of that being said, we can all see you to a brand new section of Taxpress. See you next time.